Greetings, salutations, and all around, how the hell are you? And it has been a long time on this channel since content has been produced. Sorry. It's what happens when Grinchmas rolls around and Halloween Horror Nights. Not to mention the summer season. And you work at a theme park. More specifically, Universal Studios Hollywood, the entertainment capital of L.A. Totally not an ad. But, speaking of Universal Studios, uh, yeah, they are, of course, starting their partnership with Nintendo in regards to theme park-related material. But that's not where we're going to... Gotta, bleh, but that's not what we're going to talk about today. No, we're going to talk about other stuff. More importantly, why I own golf. What did I just do? Uh, I, I, I've never played this before. Um, and to be perfectly honest, I 13 miles an hour is coming at me. What? What? What is going on? How do I shoot? <laughs> I'm hitting A. I haven't left the T. Oh boy. All right, so. No, I definitely don't want to wedge. Don't want the putter. How, what am I doing? Oh, okay. Uh, that did something, but I don't want the wedge. Um, all right, but anyway, the reason I own this game is because I was starting to uh, run a series of experiments, which, which involves the legendary converter chip thing that's in a certain amount of, or certain type of NES cartridge. And, okay, I must be doing it too early. Okay, that works. All right, we're making progress. <laughs> but I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Anyway, um, and what it is, is right as the NES was about to be launched in North America, there was a shortage of cartridges. And so to kind of get around this, they basically just packed in Famicom cartridges in our cartridges and use like a converter chip. I, I forget the exact ratio of pins from Famicom to ours, but they are real. They do exist, just not in the cartridges that I purchased because well, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and Golf is one of those games that has the converter chip. Now, what does this mean for why would I want to do this? Just in the off chance that I would want to play Famicom games on the channel. But as it turns out... Okay, the ball is moving ever so slowly now. As it turns out... I'm just going to do this. I finally have a rhythm. <laughs> As it turns out, my little gray box is incompatible with 
the means to do this. In fact, the only one, the only console able to do this is the uh, bunker. Fuck. The only console able to do this is the top loader, the one that was the basically the second version of the damn it of the NES. I forget exactly when it was released. Oh, God, really? Okay, I'm out of the... All right, I'm going to go to the putter. Putter, 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 putter. There we go. I'm on the green. <laughs> Yay, I finally got it in. <laughs> but as it turns out, yeah, my, my little gray box isn't capable of doing that. So this entire venture has been for naught. So let's go ahead. Oh, really, dude? Ha! All right, well, I definitely don't want to... And... Ha! So, in the meantime, we're just going to go ahead and do this. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really interesting that they... How they managed to do that. And yeah, sure, the cartridges themselves are... They're not necessarily rare. You just have to know what you're looking for. A lot of it has to do with the weight of the cartridge itself because it's apparently a much different weight than what the cartridge usually weighs and some are rarer than others um this that and the other thing but i don't know maybe someday i'll get myself a top loader but no i aha here, here's the other way um but as it turns out i found a possibly an alternative to this whole thing not necessarily a converter chip of some kind yet if i make it over the water i will be how am i not hitting the ball but i did manage to find an upscaler and what that is i can convert this tiny little av rca image into hdmi with a little converter box thing Got it in the water hazard. I knew I'd do that. <sighs> so right now I'm on the waterfront. I'm just gonna, just gonna avoid this. So, boop. Okay. Just avoid, avoid the water hazard. Can I? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. How isn't that working? <laughs> Do I need to press up? No, I don't. Okay. Um, I don't know how to play this. No, I don't even need to press down. Uh, oh, well. What is happening? All right, let's practice over here. Uh, okay, it's the same result. <laughs> Jeez. And slam. Oh, okay. And boom. No, <sighs> did it too early. <sighs> uh, so, yeah. I'm definitely going to be looking into getting that. That'll up the quality of these games, hopefully. I don't know. If you have experience with upscaling or any of that jazz, um, you know, just kind of shoot me a line in the comments. Bunker! How? Oh, fine. 
yeah, just go ahead, shoot me a line in the comments whether you think it's a good idea, bad idea. I'm still on the bunker. Beginning to think this was a bad idea to play this game. Yeah, at any rate. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to, you know, reintroduce people to this channel. And yeah, let you know that stuff is coming. I have edited a bunch of the old, like, I, I have like Phoenix Wright playthrough edited. I have some more Mario 64. I have the rest of the Wii Sports thing that Haley and I started, which is the second most popular video on the channel. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I don't know. No, I don't want to turn. I just want to get out of the sand pit. We gotta get out of this place. Oh my god, the King Kong trailer. No, sorry, not the King Kong. Kong Skull Island. That looks so good. So good. So, yeah. Oh, Mario. I think this is Mario. It looks like Mario. <laughs> Damn. Do I even have a wedge? Like, this is... Yeah, that, that's the wedge. Start does nothing. Select does nothing. B does nothing. Up changes the club, so... Ugh! <laughs> I've almost taken, like, 50 shots. Eh. This is my life. This is my life, folks. Just perpetually staying in the bunker. But yeah, I also just wanted to reintroduce stuff to the channel, um, let you know that stuff is coming as well. And, you know, just kind of say a Switch is in the future. Eh? Eh? Yeah, I'm getting the Switch. Oh. Alright, what do I need to do? I'm just going to press this and not do anything. That counts as a shot. All right, so that that that's not helping me. All right, yeah. Ugh. No. No. That definitely no. Can't you just... Can this be a gimme? Uh. <laughs> oh my good, good God. All right. So, yeah, definitely look forward to stuff like that in the future. Very soon. Um, I think I have enough for about three weeks worth of stuff. Uh, I'm going to be posting every Tuesday and Thursday. So this should hypothetically go up tomorrow. So we'll see. I do not know how to play golf. At least not NES golf. Oh my god. This is a classic. <laughs> the, it, the, oh my good. No, I want it on the green. Come on, just, just get, get me on the green, please. I swear, every single time <coughs> I managed to hit, you know, I'm going to look up how to do this. How do I hit the ball in golf for NES? Oh, I'm supposed to hit it three times? Okay, boom, boom, boom. 
Oh. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Um, still in the same place that I was. No. Boom, boom, boom. Nope. <laughs> Come on. Uh, this is stupid. Nope. All right, I might have to fast forward to the point when I do do it. Okay, so yeah, I'm just not gonna say anything for a little bit. <laughs> Swing, press A once to start the backswing. Downswing, press button A again to stop the backswing and start the downswing. This determines the flying distance. Three, impact. Press the A button one more time to set the impact position. This will determine how the ball will curve during flight. Oh! Well, what if I just want it to... Uh, still fast forwarding. It stopped counting. Okay, you know what? I didn't want to make this multi episode thing. But we're going to have to. So if you want to go ahead and see that, or any of the other videos that I mentioned, remember, uh, Wii Sports, Super Mario 64, and Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, plus some Switch stuff in the future, go ahead, click the subscribe button at the end screen. It's going to be on that side. Uh, big old logo right there. Um, I'll also have, like, playlist links for whatever in here on this side of the screen at the end. But yeah, if all goes well, you are a lovely people. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're all lovely people. I hope you enjoy this. Click like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if all goes well, to be continued. <laughs>